We have been talking about functions of GAGs and proteoglycans. We have seen they perform very important functions. It would make sense that these important molecules are also organized, have some sort of organization rather than being just dumped by the cells in the extracellular space. So let's see organization of some of these molecules, which play a very important role. GAGs and proteoglycans can associate to form huge polymeric complexes in extracellular matrix. The molecules of agrican, we have talked about this, it's an important molecule, you should know about. For example, agrican, which makes a majority of proteoglycan and the cartilage, assembles with hyaluronic acid in extracellular space to form aggregates that are as big as a bacteria. We have seen the structure of this uh, molecule before too, but I'll show you some further details uh, in a later slide. GAGs and proteoglycans associate with fibrous matrix proteins such as uh, collagen and uh, with protein uh, meshworks such as basal lamina creating extremely complex structures. Here, uh, for example, we have a graphic representation of agrican. So here is uh, the total molecule uh, on the top. So this is an agrican molecule, which I've said can be about the size of a bacteria. Uh, we are referring to as agrican aggregate. So what is the structure of this? Basically, the backbone uh, of this molecule is hyaluronic acid or hyaluronic molecule. Uh, shown here with the blue uh, in a in a form of blue string, and to this uh, molecule there are additional uh, proteoglycans attached. In this case, for example, uh, keratin sulfate and chondritin sulfate molecules are attached to hyaluronic acid indirectly by a help of a core protein. Here, the green stick basically, our green thread basically shown here is a protein molecule core protein and this protein is attached to keratin sulfate or chondritin sulfate. We have said that about 100 molecules of these particular um, carbohydrates are attached to agrican. This turns, it turns out the linkage of core protein to hyaluronic acid is not through a covalent bond. It is mediated by link proteins. These link proteins are basically binding uh, agrican molecule with forces, the weaker forces that we have talked about, non-covalent uh, uh, forces, they hold this particular molecule in place without the need of a uh, covalent bond. The volume, as, again, as I've mentioned, is about approximately 2 into uh, 10 raised power minus 12 cubic meters, which is about the size of a bacteria. Here is an example, uh, the structure we saw previously was a cartoon, here is an actual electron micrograph. Here you can see basically the hyaluron, uh, hyaluronic acid backbone on which there are core proteins attached to core proteins, there are other gag molecules that are attached to these core proteins and this structure is basically held together by link proteins through non-covalent interactions. So here is the electron micrograph. Uh, I should also point out how these, it, it's a challenge to take these uh, micrographs because these molecules are uh, very difficult uh, to photograph in EM. And one of the reasons is, uh, is that these molecules are water soluble. They can wash out while the tissue is being processed. So this has to be, the, it's a kind of a tricky uh, procedure how these molecules, when we have to photograph these molecules. It, it's kind of a tricky procedure. We will talk about that later on, but in a, in a later module. But let me show you another example of placement of these gag molecules. Here you have a photograph, an electron micrograph again. Here, is, this is a collagen fibril. And around it, there are gag molecules, uh, like proteoglycans. The darker region is basically the protein uh, region and the lighter part is basically the carbohydrate domains. You can see these uh, gray or lightly stained uh, little strings. These are basically the carbohydrate moieties and the darker areas are basically the proteins. 
Uh, this tissue, uh, we have said that how we photograph gags. So the way it is done is tissue is frozen at minus uh, 196 degrees Celsius, and then it is fixed and stained in a frozen state to prevent uh, the collapsing of gag chains. So remember, these are uh, hydrophilic molecules. They will be associated with water. So if one of the ways when you prepare a sample for electron microscopy is you remove water uh, through different solvents, organic solvents. So if you do that, these molecules will collapse. So in order to prevent that, you have to uh, basically do this uh, procedure on a frozen sample. And uh, that basically uh, gives you the desired uh, photograph of uh, these carbohydrate molecules. The point I would like to make here, or the, the point I would like to again emphasize is that these molecules, extracellular matrix molecules, are not just simply dumped by the cells in the extracellular space. These molecules are highly organized since they play a very important physiological role.